Hello, Clive Bailey from the Farming Forum. Day two, Lama 24, um, back on the Kubota stand and looking at something new and exciting with Gordon from Kubota. Yep. Your first Yes, this is really exciting. So for 2020, yeah. 24, mm -hmm. We are entering the material handling world with the Kubota's first um, telehandler. Yeah. And there we are. And it's in the compact one, so it's a KCH Kubota telehandler, 4.8, mm -hmm. representing our lift height, 4.8 metres. 4.8. That's, that's, that's 15, a long way up for a small machine, isn't it? It actually? is. Yeah, yeah. And this is, this yeah. is quite, yeah. it, it's a, just shy of 5 metres. A one and a half ton lifting capacity we're indicating and dash two to the series. Yeah. So we are having this in two uh, weight classes. So something what I'm referring to as the lightweight version, yeah. which will have the skinnier tires. So it's 1.6 meters wide. Uh, we'll be looking at with the bucket, 2,950 kilograms. So down to 1.6 on that lightweight. Yeah, on the lightweight. Very small little okay. and, yeah. But as you can see on this model here, we've got the wider tires. So here we are, 1,670 wide. So we're still very compact. Yeah. But what's great about it, so we've got the width down to under two meters and we've also got the height down under two meters. Yeah. yeah. So we've got low entry is um, a tick of the box. Uh, the, the width for um, a machine of this lifting capacity and this height yeah. is a tick in the box. So, so we are very, very excited about well having this Well suited to kind of like, I guess, farmyards with like older buildings that haven't got yeah. huge, big roller yeah. shutter doors. You're going to get this into in some quite tight spaces, yeah. I guess. And, yeah. and also the other point yeah. I want to point out of this as well, it's got a 25k top end speed as 25K. well. 25k, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. so for a yard... Yeah. Um, Four wheel steer, actually. Four wheel yeah. steer, has cramped tight modes and um, yeah. on the what I'm going to refer to as our deluxe range. Yeah, yeah. on the yeah. top, the high end. Yeah. Yes, we'll have crab end, um, two wheel steer, and also front diff block as well. Yeah. So power unit and transmission. Power units, of course. Yeah. Kubota yeah. trusted engine, the yeah. D eighteen oh three engine. Been Who learning about power. them a minute ago. How good they yeah, are. So yeah. Been on the engine. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. everybody likes a Kubota engine. Yeah. So good selling point. Kubota product with Kubota engine, and the high it's a hydrostat system. Yeah. And we're using a premium hydrostat from Boss Rexroth. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, and also we've got on this machine here on our more deluxe model, we've got twin auxiliaries on the top end, so we've yeah. got plenty of options so to drive attachments. Run, yeah, so you can run drive, yeah. drive to the attachments That's there. It. So while we're on that attachments and that headstock, um, what the headstock? Okay, yeah, yes, yeah, 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 yeah. From construction, <laughs> construction background, I kept referring to as uh, hitches, but <laughs> yeah. yeah, headstock for the UK market, we're going to standardise the Euro hitch. Yeah. So it appeals more to the ag world. Yeah. So okay. what attachments do you have available? From Kubota, from Kubota, because yeah. it works in conjunction to keep the operator's manual yes. um, clean and tidy. Yeah. We're going to be offering the pallet forks and the general purpose bucket and the four one buckets. Yeah. All the other types of um, attachments to see your local. I'm Kubota guessing with the dealer. auxiliary, the pallet the forks, just yeah, we've got 50 litres per minute, 51 litres per minute on the, on the end there. Yeah. And also, the other thing I want to point out is that we've got, as you see on this machine, high spec machine, um, we've got a multifunction control lever. So it's a one handed operation for your auxiliaries, for your arm, your boom extension. Yeah. So it's very easy to operate. Great. Could just jump in the cabin. To yeah, do you want to go in it? Yeah, I yeah, think yeah, you should yeah, go yeah. in it. Yeah, that's the best. And as you can see, through, very yeah. wide open indoor. Yeah. And what I was going to point out is the lightweight version. Yeah. Yeah. It's actually what we call a three quarter um, glazed canopy. Right. So it'll be minus the door. Yeah. That comes with benefits. So if you're on and off a machine all day Jumping long, in and out, yeah. this is actually becomes a nuisance. Yeah. So you think about the conventional um, counterbalance sport lift where you're on and off, on and off. Okay, so we've got that as um, for for yeah. an appeal. But so of course, we've also got the fully glazed cab as an option. Yeah, so yeah, for the, for the winter. <laughs> um, so yeah, but, yeah, I tell you, when you sit here, you really do start It's spacious. To get, yeah, but you also get the compact nature of it. You do. You feel like, feel like I could fit this into and a very small probably, space. Have you taken notice yeah. of the curved screen? Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. and as you notice, as we get near the top, it's yeah. tinted. Yeah. Okay, and yeah. we've got two wipers on the one arm, so we've got full vision, you know, yeah. so we can clear the roof uh, window, front screen, vision is brilliant. Yeah, it's great. No, it's uh, yeah. visibility and size, it just feels like you're going to wrap around me, actually, yeah. and if you get it into a very small space. Very tight right? turning. Yeah, great. So, yeah, looks a good machine. So, will there, be, will there be bigger machines coming from Kubota? Or, or um, is that top secret at the no, moment? No, there's no talks <laughs> of that at the moment. So, um, but at the moment, we're going to run with this for 2024, yeah. and uh, we'll see where this takes us. Yeah, I think it'll be, think it'll be popular, and it's a good addition. I think to, this is going to choices for farmers now. Yeah, yeah sadly, I wasn't here yesterday, but what I've heard from my colleagues, this has attracted an awful lot of um, attention. Yeah. So what we're saying is, so uh, this is our preview. Um, this product will be available from our dealers in mm -hmm. April this year. Yeah. So, uh, so we took the opportunity of Lama to show what's coming. Yeah. And. Um, I'm sure the remainder of 2024, there'll be a lot of um, um, business with the KCH 418, uh, sorry, 415 mm. dash 2 to Brilliant. Gordon, thanks so much for sharing around here. No, really thank really you. Thank you for showing an interest. Yeah, thank you. Thank you.